Greetings friends. This is an update regarding the fuel buster. I have had many people state that they cannot be expected to contribute to this project when so little information has been offered. I understand this dilemma. So I have decided to offer as much as I can without jeopardizing the success of this project. So, I will offer some further insight as to how the technology of this project has come about. Beginning with the Lacerta interviews. Many parts of these interviews had a profound impact on me, causing me to review many, many times and leading to many questions, which led to answers from different sources, including Mythisic Fefix, another alien. As I have stated in the first Fuel Buster video, in recent years, my life has been turned inside out not to be confused with upside down. I have come to realize many things. I use the word, realize, as the opposite of belief, which simply means, a not, knowing. The following is a peripheral lesson, and a higher form of physics, offered by Lacerda. For a clearer understanding, with regards to the following lesson, consider the phrase, sphere of influence as the field of expanded space also understand that the induced radiation field she mentions can be introduced via several procedures radiation or vibration is how fast the molecules rotate in the case of our project compression of the opposing fields forces the molecules to rotate faster increasing resistance using the correct angles during compression one can extract or convert this into a tremendous amount of usable energy. For example, one unit, the size of an average sewing machine, will provide all the power needed for the average household. Even smaller units, will power electric cars, trucks, boats etc. In the near future, the need for conservation will be a thing of the past. Water shortages will be non-existent. Because the power hog water makers, which convert ocean water into fresh clean drinking water, will be working off of a free power source, making them very cost effective. Those in remote areas will be able to cool and heat their homes, refrigerate, freeze and cook their food, without having to connect to some energy grid, who are simply selling what should be free. I understand how impossible this may sound to many of you, but it's here, and hopefully soon it will be available to all. Your participation will simply make it happen much faster. For at this stage, my personal resources are limited. Please understand. Many such projects have been suppressed. As well as many, much needed cures. All in the name of profit or control. This project will allow all to have an independent energy source. This project will change this planet and end the elite's control. This is the reason for the caution. The patent process, normal marketing and distributing procedures, are only some of the ways they discover and suppress any threat. This is the reason for not showing or offering the details of the project. All ten stages must, and will, be followed. Your participation will help greatly, and also expedite this project. But the lack of it, won't stop us. I know many caring individuals, who have the necessary funds, and will offer the monies needed anonymously, once we are able to present the working prototype. I am putting all I have into this project, for this is not some impractical free energy device, putting out just a little more energy than it uses, or not able to sustain any torque. For this device requires no power input at all, and its output is enormous. Once this project is produced in quantities, enough to secure its survival, avoiding any and all suppression. It will be revealed with all details, so it can be produced everywhere, and applied to all devices requiring power to run. Lacerda Do you remember this business of copper fusion? By means of the fluctuation at the right angle, with the induced radiation field, copper is fused with other elements, the illusion of matter is fused, the fields in the sphere of influence overlap each other. But the main force would be reflected by that process, 
and would assume a quasi-bipolar character. The resulting connection and the field would therefore not be stable in the normal condition of matter and unsuited for tasks. As a result, the entire field spectrum is shifted to a higher plasma-like condition, whereby the spectrum comes together with this harsh shifting to the opposite pole side of the force field, and resembles quite closely a gravitational shift. This shifting causes a tilting of the repulsing quasi-bipolar force, which now no longer flows to the interior of the force field, but rather flows partly to the exterior of the field. The result is an interstratifying reflective force field, which is very difficult to modulate, within certain technical boundaries, in relation to its own characteristics. It can also carry out a multiplicity of tasks, as for example, causing massive flying objects to be levitated and maneuvered. It can also exert a camouflage function in the realm of electromagnetic radiation as well as manipulate temporal sequences of events and other things as well. As I stated earlier, it took much study and many reviews of Lacerda's messages to even begin to understand or fully comprehend her meaning. Truthfully Mythisic Fefix was very helpful in this regard. By the way, the governments and those who wish to rule this planet are well aware of this simple technology. And much more. Even at this time, they will do whatever it takes to prevent the entirety of this project from becoming public. I hope that the further information provided in this video, is sufficient to justify your participation. Thank you for your time. Cheers.